But let's talk about uh, the first corporate interaction that we have lined up for you today on Bazaar. Stovecraft, that's the stock on our radar. The company is looking at expanding its uh, reach via exclusive outlets, mostly in North India. They plan to open five exclusive stores in NCR one in one month. Rajendra Gandhi, who's the MD at the company, joins us to discuss more on their business, but more importantly, how the festive season was for them as well. Uh, Mr. Gandhi, thank you so much for joining in. I remember speaking sometime about a month ago. You said the festive season has started on a decent note, but not a blockbuster note. If it were to continue that way, you would see around 11 to 12 percent growth in your revenues for the entire year. One month later, the festive season is behind us. Would you change your thoughts or would you maintain them? Good morning. Yeah, as you mentioned, we have launched our first store in Delhi and then uh, we plan to roll out five stores in this month. And that's the beginning of our uh, foray into the retail in the north. Uh, regarding demand, I can uh, continue to uh, state that uh, demand is good. We, it's pretty good. It's not very, very strong, but it is uh, definitely better than what it used to be comparative to the last uh, last year's uh, similar time quarter. That is the third quarter of last third quarter of last year. Of course, uh, there was a festival period. You know, Diwali was in the middle of this quarter. I can say Diwali was reasonably good, and the demand continues to be reasonably good. It's not on the very high demand side, but uh, not to regret at all. Okay, all right. So uh, good enough, Mr. Gandhi, to see double-digit revenue growth. Yeah, we are very confident of a double-digit uh, growth if uh, current uh, scenario continues. But Got if it. there is a spike in demand in the in the forthcoming quarter, and yeah. uh, if we can grow better, then we can see a good double-digit growth. But otherwise, we are so, confident of a double-digit growth. So yeah. double-digit growth, gross margins will hold at around 35%. Uh, are you confident about that? And what does it mean for your beta margins? Does it move into double digits comfortably, low teens? So uh, we have already crossed that uh, 35% and uh, we are in the range of 36%. We believe we can be here and improve upon this. And overall, the business, the way it stacks is uh, with, at a 36% gross margin. We And if we are able to contain all our costs at 25%, that should leave us at 11% uh, EBITDA. That's where we are working. All right. Uh, Mr. Gandhi, hi. <clears throat> Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> just wanted to understand this uh, sort of physical store uh, stores and uh, the one in delhi is uh, live and what what happens from here but, but the the question is will margins improve because of this uh, uh, you know store strategy physical store strategy the reason i ask is offline uh, you know you uh, <coughs> consumers are i mean they, they they move around much faster right i mean a, a lot of it is based on discounting what is a better product better offer etc with a physical store, we've seen this with other businesses as well. Margins actually, although investment, etc., is required, margins perhaps can improve uh, on, a, on a sustained basis. Is that how you see it as well? If you can talk about that. Yes, our gross margins uh, for the ret uh, retail uh, remains between that 48 and 52 percent. Our uh, revenues from our retail in the last one year are actually doubled from where we started. We are seeing very promising uh, 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 business proposition with our retail, apart from giving us a huge exposure to the brand. Of course, we fit uh, perfectly there because uh, we, um, for the consumer, it is a huge advantage that he is getting high quality products at the price points that are very attractive for them. We continue to invest on uh, various uh, new categories. Uh, in the, we are continuously indigenizing several products, which uh, we are offering uh, that benefit to the customer. And uh, I think retail, is giving that wow factor for the customer. I mean, overall, uh, for us, the retail, uh, we believe, is uh, uh, is one of the uh, best channels that is going to be in the future, which is going to both aid uh, margin, revenue, and brand uh, growth. All right. Uh, you know, uh, apart from uh, retail expansion and the festive season, etc., something that happened was uh, there was an IT surge that uh, happened between November 21st to November 23rd. Uh, that also disrupted some of your operations. Could you give us a sense of uh, what exactly took place out there and do you have any clarity on the outcome of that search? Yeah, the, the, as we have already disclosed, there was an IT search at both of our uh, manufacturing facilities. So manufacturing facilities were disrupted for uh, the two two days at Himachal, but for a longer period, for about uh, five, six days in Bangalore. So the the... It took a little longer time for them to take that huge, it was quite large. 
and uh, they would want to have the complete inventory verified, which, uh, in, in our opinion, we have cooperated with the authorities. And uh, I think uh, and they had the reasons to check, but I think uh, everything went well. Okay, very quickly, Mr. Gandhi, uh, you said retail has doubled from the low base in the last year or so. What a, what's the percentage as a percentage of the total revenues now? And where do you see that headed, say, in the next three years or so? No, so the base was very small last year. Yes. If you go yes. revenue growth, we will grow at least 10, 15 times to, yes. or at least 10 times over the last year. Uh, so that that is not a comparable growth because we had very few stores. As a, in the Mr. Beginning. Gandhi, eh? Mr. Gandhi, yeah. as a percentage of your mix in the next three years, where does it go? Since it's very small, as a percentage of a mix, what what do you see it go to? We believe uh, at least uh, the retail will start contributing 15 to 20 percent in the next three Got years. It. It's uh, good speaking to you, Mr. Gandhi. Thanks so much for joining and giving us a sense in, in demand. You know, clearing out the air in terms of that uh, rate that was there and also telling us your vision with retail spiking up, contributing better to margins as well as taking it to 15 to 20%.